Harvey Diamond, author of Fit for Life, which has sold 14 million copies in 33 languages and read in over 80 countries, once said, if you don't know what you want to achieve in your presentation, your audience never will. Welcome to the EagleWorks podcast. I'm Michael Akins, director of EagleWorks and your podcast host. Today's episode is all about presentations. We're looking at what makes a presentation effective, tips for maximizing presentation efficacy, and presentation organization. So let's get started. Prior to the competition, your team will submit a recorded presentation, which is your pitch to the judges. The presentation can be a maximum of seven minutes long, but somewhere around five minutes tends to be the sweet spot for most participants. A short and to the point presentation is always more effective than a long, disorganized one. In creating your video presentation, we advise that you start out as you would with a normal, in-person speech or presentation. And that all begins with organization. So, tip one, organize your information. Remember, the judges that you are pitching to most likely have not done the research or experienced the problem that your idea is attempting to solve. You'll want to lay the groundwork for them so that they have a foundation to understand your idea. Begin by compiling the information that you want to convey to the judges in an outline or start with organization considering the who, what, when, where, why, and how, and take it from there. The best advice here is to get the information you wish to convey organized. Tell the story in a clear and concise way that will highlight the importance of your idea as well as the problem that your idea is attempting to solve. The first step in telling that story, organizing your information. You don't wanna be jumping around from point to point, but rather have a clear structure to your presentation that tells the judges a problem, a solution, why the solution is the best solution, and how you plan to implement that solution. Remember, you're telling a story just as much as you're pitching a product. That brings us to our next tip. Tip two, start with the problem. Simply put, make your audience care. The goal of this step is to identify the problem. We've touched on this crucial step in the Business Model Canvas episode, so go back and listen if you haven't already. But for the presentation side of things, you're going to want to start with the problem at hand by firstly explaining why it's a problem. If the audience doesn't understand the problem or doesn't believe it is a problem, they have no reason to care about your solution. So pointedly and clearly express the issue at hand first by explaining the problem first. You're presenting to the judges who have a choice to make. You'll want to inspire them to think, wow, this really is a problem that needs a solution. Which brings us to tip three, sell your solution. You've just explained to the judges what the problem is and its effects. The next step is to provide them with the solution that you constructed to solve the problem. In this step, you're bringing the judges' attention to the solution that you and your team created and giving them plenty of well-researched reasons to believe that this solution is the solution. Keep in mind that like you and your team, the judges have also seen bad infomercials that claim their product can do anything. Avoid this type of over-exaggerated car salesmanship. Simply explain the usefulness and application of your idea in a point-by-point -point fashion that lays all the need-to-know basics out for the judges. You don't need to go into all of the small details here. Again, you're painting a picture for your judges. You're telling a story and making them care about your idea. And finally, tip four, why your idea works. Surely you and your team are not the first to seek a solution to this problem. Explain to the judges why your solution is the solution. Again, with well-researched facts and data to back it up. Acknowledge prior solutions to the problem and explain how they have fallen just short of the mark, but how you have innovated to surpass their shortcomings. The main idea here is to cover all of your bases and have the knowledge and facts to back it up to the judges. That's the basic outline of how to arrange your video presentation for the judges. As for the video itself, take a moment and replay episode two, Effective Communication. In that episode, we go over all of the technical details about how to present well over Zoom, keeping lighting and camera position and audio up to par for the competition. That's all the time we have for today, but let's review the main points before we go on to some upcoming dates. Tip one, organize your information. Make sure that all of the necessary information you want to convey to the judges is in one place before filming. That can look like an outline, note cards, or the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Tip two, start with the problem. Tell the story. The only reason your idea exists is because a problem needed solving. 
highlight that problem. Tip three, sell your solution. You've set up the problem. You've given reasons why this problem needs to be fixed. Your solution should be presented on a silver platter to the judges. And tip four, explain why your idea is the idea. Acknowledge other solutions and explain why they don't just quite cut it. And more importantly, why yours does. And that's it. If you follow these tips, your video presentation will have all the necessary components to be well received by the judges. And now, mark your calendars. Here are some upcoming dates. This Wednesday, March 10th, join us in person or online for the Effective Presentations Workshop. See the website and Tech Times for more details. The individual registration and team registration deadline is March 31st. If you're not registered by the 31st, you will not be eligible to compete in this year's competition. So make sure you register as soon as possible. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. To stay connected and up to date on all things EagleWorks, check back here every week leading up to the competition for new episodes of the podcast. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at TNTech EagleWorks. If you haven't already, please share this podcast with your friends and subscribe on Spotify, Apple, Google, YouTube, or wherever you get yours. For more information like contest details, full schedule, judging rubric, and FAQs, visit tntech.edu forward slash EagleWorks. This podcast is hosted and produced by me, Michael Akins, and developed by Tennessee Tech students. This episode was written and edited by David Gorchoff with research and instructional design by Peyton Womack. Closed captioning support for our YouTube